Hey, what's up guys? Christian here for Chris Corp Productions. Today we're taking a look at how to virtually improve any lighting situation in any shot. So we're looking at ways to relight a scene in After Effects in order to add more of a cinematic feel and to overall improve the composition of your videos. Talk about fix and post. Now, of course, this isn't ideal. I'm not saying that you shouldn't care about lighting your scene while on set, but this is more for those particular cases that are oftentimes the shooting scenarios for us low budget to no budget filmmakers out there. So in case you don't have many lights and you're just working within your limits of what your scene is giving you and you're still not too happy with that, then this is a way to take your footage to the next level by using some simple tools right inside of After Effects. Now to understand what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you before and after shots of a very short short that I posted not too long ago called Inside the Attic, which I'll post in the description if you wanna check out the full video. But anyways, as you see in these shots, uh, there is quite a bit of difference, nothing too drastic, but it's just very subtle differences that actually help improve your shot. So whether it's blocking off light in certain areas that can be a little bit distracting from what's going on in the scene, or it's actually doing the opposite and adding light to your subject or to parts of your scene to further highlight certain actions or certain things that you want your audience to focus in, then you can see the true power of just adding a simple adjustment layer or a simple solid and uh, adding a mask with a little bit of feathering. Now, as you can see, all we're doing is creating solids, we're creating adjustment layers and creating some masks to sort of simulate light and you can take it a step further and uh, simulate some volumetric light. You know, you might have to do some animation to the mask and you can even add some particles and a little bit of smoke elements to further sell that effect. But essentially we're repeating the same steps here and uh, we're just getting these different cool elements that you can add in your composition to, uh, to give it more of a film look and give it more of a dramatic, intense feel. So once again, this is not ideal. If you have a way to fix it while you're shooting it, please fix it while you're shooting it. But this is just a way to further improve your compositional quality once everything is said and done. Or if while shooting you didn't have the help that you needed or the lights that you needed, this is just a great way to uh, further enhance your shot without uh, spending any extra bucks and uh, hiring other people. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did find it helpful, please hit that like button. And if this is your first time on my channel, I'd love to have you back. And if you do enjoy this sort of stuff, I try to make two videos a week. I'm trying to move towards three, but that's been really hard. But anyway, subscribe if you like this type of content. And if you want to check out the full short of all the shots that we pretty much examined today, link is in the description, as well as a few other things that are worth checking out in my opinion. Anyways, my name is Chris Trini for Chris Car Productions. I'll see you next time.